Hello viewers, I welcome you all from HLT Tech channel and today we will talk about the difference between Microsoft Dynamics CRM online version versus on-premise version. As you all know that Microsoft Dynamics uh, CRM is offered by Microsoft as a very good platform uh, of customer relationship management that is available in two uh, major versions. It offers you an online uh, version and also offers you to uh, deploy the system on your on-premise environment. So if we look at the first difference, uh, the CRM online is a cloud-based solution provided by Microsoft in which all the servers and database are managed by Microsoft. Microsoft has its own data centers in which it has already deployed the various uh, CRM online uh, applications. All you need to do is to just uh, log in uh, to Microsoft site with your valid user I uh, email ID and uh, you can also get a trial version uh, on which you can uh, have a hand on practice on your Microsoft provided CRM online. But if we talk about CRM on premise version, on premise means uh, the system is developed on your own servers which you have deployed locally for your organizations. So, an on premise solution provided by Microsoft, as you all know, that uh, the setup that you download is available in Microsoft website. So it's an on-premise solution application in which you deploy the Microsoft provided CRM application on your own servers and you manage your own databases, you create your own database server, you create your own application servers. I've already <coughs> uh, defined a video uh, in, uh, in which we can easily configure a CRM on our own uh, servers as an on-premise environment. So the next thing is that if we talk about CRM online, you pay for the users and use space on the go. Okay. Uh, so the companies that are using CRM online versions, they pay Microsoft uh, on the basis of the space. Uh, space means the uh, storage that you are getting and number of users that are going to access that CRM. However, if we talk about on-premise version, uh, the setting up an on-premise offering needs technical skills to get it running. You, not, uh, you do not need to pay uh, the regular fees of your users or the space. All you need to do is to deploy it on your own on-premise servers and uh, uh, for that you need technical skills to make it running. Now the next thing is that uh, CRM online is provided by Microsoft and it's available for you as an end user. So that's why it supports relatively less customizations and extensions. However, if we talk about uh, uh, on-premise version, since it's now your property that you have deployed it, you have installed it on your own servers and now you are responsible for configuring it or customizing it. So it uh, relatively offers more customizations and extensions. CRM online does not give ability to perform manual data backup and restore options. Uh, Microsoft itself manages the, uh, all the application servers at the back end uh, all you uh, get uh, go, uh, all you get is the application and access to that application however if you deploy it in on premise version uh, you have to manage your databases moreover you are responsible for the regular backups and restoration in case of any disaster so for that purpose organizations that are using on premise version they have their dedicated team who is responsible for backup and restoration now the next thing is that CRM online has various plans based on the data storage limits such as uh, 5 GB and 20 GB etc. However, uh, the on-premise version has no such limit. It all depends upon the data, uh, data storage that you have uh, in your own data centers in which you have deployed the CRM on-premise server. You can uh, either increase it, it as per your convenience as well. CRM online provides inbuilt cap capabilities of features such as insight, social listening, analytics, etc. CRM online has a uh, very uh, vast uh, features. However, for uh, an on-premise version, if you want to deploy extra uh, things or extra applications, for example, you want to configure it to with SharePoint, with your Outlook or Exchange server or any other Microsoft application, you have to pay the extra cost for buying that uh, application license. Uh, the next thing and the last thing is that uh, it has the uh, CRM online has uh, it supports automatic updates to future versions whereas uh, for uh, an offline version that is on-premise version updates need to be installed separately 
by downloading it first from the internet and then uh, updating or installing them in your on-premise environment so these are major differences between crm online and crm on-premise version and it's just a, a theoretical video for understanding of all the beginners who are entering into crm uh, dynamic crm field uh, for their understanding and better grooming i have compiled this short video i thank you all for watching this video